101 three crazy things to do with Prius bits. This is uh, out of a Mark 1 Prius. It's the uh, cooling fan for the battery pack. And it's quite hefty actually. These motors draw about uh, 7 amps from a 12 volt supply. That's, sorry, not 7. It's about, they're about 70 to 50 watts, right? And that's the motor, just that bit there, from there back. That little motor is 750 watts. Would you believe it? Okay, you got comparing to a standard monitor. Look at the size of it, there's my fist. You know what I mean? Anyway, this is way ace, because what it is, is that this is a uh, toroidal uh, compressor. It sucks air in normally, sucks air in through there, and it's a, a centrifugal fan spinning that way, which blows it out through there, and then that goes into the battery and cools it. So this one, mo this is a motor powered. Okay, we've got a car battery powering the motor. Okay, so it's powered, and it's drawing air in through there and blowing it out down here into another unit, which is not powered. It's just simply taking the air in, right? Spinning the uh, the turbine in there. There's two, one in each, okay? And then the air comes out of here, and you can see, I don't know, can you see? And there's a bit of polystyrene, you know what I mean? <laughs> Put it there and you can watch it blow away, right? So, it's blowing air out, and what's happening, the shaft is connected to this motor, which is the motor that's out of one, right? And so it's acting as a generator, right? And I thought, well, what can we do? Well, well why don't we just power another motor? And uh, can I show it running? Uh, I don't know, you can't see that, can you? I've got to put something on it so you can see the thing turning. Uh, I don't know. Uh, perhaps that. There we go. <coughs> there we go. So you can see. I can't hold it up, but you can see that it's actually turning the motor. Alright, I'm not turning that. There you go, it's not running it. It's not easy. What can I find just to stick in it so you can see it turning? Oh dear. No, uh, whatever. Anyway, it's turning. And uh, it's, no, I mean, it's not too fast. Yeah, Alright, here we go. Look, see? See? Motor is turning. <laughs> see, I held the shaft of it. Okay, and it's uh, it's got a reason. Look at that. It's got a reasonable amount of torque, you know, because I can't. I can just about stop it with. I oh don't know. Little finger, little finger. No, you just just stopped it with my little finger, and that's the pressure of it, right? So that's generating. That's my compressor in the background. That's generating, powering this motor. So just to recap, battery. Powering motor, powering compressors, powering turbines, powering motor, generator in this case, powering another motor. Okay, so that battery is powering that, but through all that. And the silly thing about it is, if you look at it, that is what we're talking about. This is a turbine engine. Okay, you've got the compressor in there and a turbine in here powering a generator and the motor's powering the compressor. That is going to be the Mass EV's uh, power plant. Not this, because it's made of plastic, a metal one. <coughs> bit right. And in between those bits in the middle there, where the air actually passes between the compressor and the turbine, there will be a combustion chamber. And I've got an idea of how to actually make it so you can use a combustion chamber Let's turn this off now. There you go, uh, I've got an idea of how to use a combustion chamber <coughs> to uh, power um, a turbine, but a cold one. A cold turbine. Just using, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's using a, a method where you use a, a kind of a, a suction, an impeller suction, and it's a natural form of. Uh, of doing it. There's something else I wanted to show you because this is quite interesting. This is actually using. This is using a clutch. Where's the camera? There it is. 
there's a clutch inside there and it's actually a magnet right and there's the other end of the magnet and basically that's how they actually connect it this is a magnet okay and it's connected to another it, it contacts that well, it doesn't contact it actually there's an air gap between them and there's a plate which is actually holding this up here so they actually have a clutch between the two through a piece of metal now wouldn't that be a great idea for boat propellers hey you wouldn't have to drill holes through the chassis you could just use magnets That'd be cool I'm off.